Adam C and welcome to the Mighty Accord. We are here for BASP Fuel Fest. What's you won't get cold, it's going to be a scorcher today. But we are accidentally very early despite having had a three hour drive to get here and waking up at God knows when. So we're capturing arrivals. There is quite a large convoy coming in with the GTR and another GTR who's gone the wrong way. I remember last year there were a lot of unique builds at this show so we're going to look out for them and see what brave wheels and rather interesting stickers we can see. And there we go, chrome pink, the wide arched Audi. Wow, high vis GTR. Oh, um, what, something was scraping and I don't know what. Oh. Talking of brave wheels, wait for it. Well, we've got the E36 with its chrome wheels, i30N, they are brave on the S2000. High vis with blue. There is a panda in the panda. Well, it doesn't look, I think it's a panda. It should be a panda. They're in danger, those cars. What have we got? Oh, another panda, a Jurassic Park panda. E46, probably a skid car. Civics, probably not skid cars. What's this? Oh, 32. Love the livery. The other pounder is not coming in. There's a Renault 5. All the retro scenes. Another high-vis car, the A45 with its aero discs. Is this some kind of like old Datsun or Skyline? It is. It's a Hakusuka, but a pickup. I know there's another name for it, but I can't remember the name for it. But that is it. <laughs> there seems to be another entrance. Because all of these cars are going to another entrance. I mean, it does say welcome here, although we could send everyone the main entrance is that way. R32, here we go, yeah, got the ST. And the car, oh, that was, that was noisy. R32 GTR. We got cars all going this way, and all these cars that did go this way are now telling them to turn around and come this way, so there isn't an entrance that way. Everything's happening. Oh, S15. There you go. So, this is the way to go and they've come this way. Another R34 pull in, the first four door of the show. Huge spoiler on the back. Oh, a lot of colors coming up. We've got pink, the GTR's got brave wheels. Um, that's not a GTR, that's a 350Z with a GTR front end, but it does have brave wheels and the RX-7. <laughs> Excited S14. We've got a Sora with white front wheels and a Mazda Cosmo. That is very rare. It's got a rotary. Oh, it's the Evora police car and a Volvo police car. They're making their arrival. That's something special. The Vectra's going the wrong way. Look at the purple on that. Body kit too and a spoiler. Oh, there's a yellow 350Z. Oh, there's a loud 350Z. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Yellow. That sounds good. That doesn't. Oh. Turbo on the R8. Just about got that. And an S13. Two tone with beige at the bottom. Is that another yellow 350Z? Yeah, they're common. They are common. But it started to thin out a little bit, but we're only public today, but we're going to try and get public entry, even though we're a little bit early. But I'm sure they'd make exceptions for the mighty Accord. Let's go. We're also looking out for a white MX-5. A follower said he'd give us a fiver if we could spot it and send him a picture. So I'm going to owe myself a fiver today. Well, it's 20 quid to get in, so... Yeah. Too soon? Hello, we don't have tickets, but we've got 20 squids. Yeah. Thank you. They told us to aim for the middle lane, but there's four of them, so I'm confused. There's a photographer at the entrance for the public parking. They've asked us for cheesy grins for the photography. He's going to get a leg. Yeah! George has yeah. got like 500 coins to pay with. We're in and there's lots to look around. No music currently, no drifting currently. There will be drifting. So we are looking for the more unusual mods like the front mounted spoiler on the BMW's bonnet and the little dog and the octopuses and another dog. We've got a VXR with some Lego under its bonnet and a stance little tight cozy coupe on top. And a taxi that isn't real. And we missed it earlier. Here is its spoolie boy on the back of the R8. Single turbo. Nice exhaust. Here's a wide arch 350 haven't seen before in maroon. I think we found ourselves a white MX-5. We're going to be five pounds richer or 15 pounds down. This is the MX-5 section. You can tell because it's an MR2 and a CRX. And this is the MX-5 we saw recently with the exhaust on the rear that face upwards and some chalkboard opportunities. I've got chalk on me now. Yes, I'm going to earn myself a fiver. Right, 
Do the vents vent? Don't think that one does. Don't think those ones do. Do these ones? No. And we have more. And they don't, no they don't vent. And this Focus is apparently owned by an 87 year old lady. We've got some kind of fluffy animal driving the Audi with Yoda, baby Yoda on the dashboard, and another fluffy animal on the BMW. I'm gonna name you George Casserole. Oh, E46 with a kind of check engine light inspired logo on the side and an Audi on the roof in a different spec to the BMW and a yellow kit car of sorts behind and me there's an ant on the bonnet there is a unicorn on the roof of the DC5 and some flowers around the wing mirrors some little colorful windmills as well the pandas and on the roof of the SAS is a turtle or dinosaur I am not sure a fish and a flamingo ah there's an MX5 idling over there one I didn't get to see at my own show I believe it's got an RB oh he turned it off oh no <laughs> And straight ahead we have a shark throwing up rainbows and a man dressed up as a flamingo and another man asking for some noodles. We have a few yellow MX-5s including what looks like liquid yellow with pop-up delete. Oh, the mud flaps. They flap more than regular mud flaps would flap because they protrude out the arches and are bright red. This 350Z is presumably GT4 yellow, but this one is wrapped yellow. I love a wrapped yellow 350 with pigeons on the dash. Also, you'll note inside the carbon fiber 350Z is Vaseline. But there is also an indoor area, so we're going to see what's in there. Who invites someone to touch my car? Oh yes, please come over here, touch my car! Hopefully we saw none of these cars coming in because these are all here this morning, like the Polo GCI, the 996 in blue, and then this clean S2000. We've got carbon parts around it as well. We've got carbon boots, roof, wings, wing mirrors, wings, bonnets, and arches. What? I know I parked here. That's the wrong number, but otherwise it's slightly smaller than my one. Side pipes are cool. Oh, I've got to get a picture. There we go. That's me and my car. Kind of. Just the doors don't door. That's the main difference. We've got like a US parcel van, but with giant side pipes. It's caged with bucket seats and an engine. Uh, Mercedes power. That is the coolest thing here. Just beyond this mental wide RX-7 with the beautiful colour flip effects, we have a UPS van this time. Oh, that is a surprise. In an RX-7. Yeah. I want to know who owns this exhaust, what car. I presume it's some kind of Beetle because you tend to... Well, it is a Beetle. It's a chopped Beetle. They cut off most of the rear ends, chopped it to hell. Even the gearbox is exposed. And the interior is exposed from the full sunroof. That is the weirdest looking car so far. Also, just as a warning, this is not an abandoned vehicle. It's it's meant to look like this. Is there a problem, officer? Push when all else fails. Well, I haven't been invited to touch the car, so I can't. But I really want to know what that does. It's probably connected. Well, we can. See. No, I can't. It's, I can't see what it does. There's a button here that says push when all else fails. But I haven't been invited to touch the car, so I can't. Maybe it could... No, it won't be. No, that's just mounted. We've got a slammed S2000 and some slammed Little Tykes Cozy Coupes. These doors open the wrong way, although maybe all of them do. Oh, those doors open upwards like a Lamborghini. I like his Gouder Year tie lettering. But back outside, the crowds have gathered because the drifting's about to start. <laughs> Drifting, which is still going on, obviously. We're gonna have a look around at the rest of the cars. Cars such as this Citroen with its colour coded toolbox with Citroen written on it. It's also got a Toyo Tires cap. We've got Michelin on the doors. 
and then Kumho. Kumho on the wheels. This Civic's got eyes and a fancy Honda badge on its grille and tyre racing saying Honda racing like a touring car. It's even got the touring car netting as well saying sport. Would anyone like a stereo? It's wired in. Oh yeah, there you go, the wiring to the sub at the back. Loud and proud like my, oh that's, okay. We're now checking out this Mini with its green details including green on the diffuser and we can't work out what it used to be because I don't think it was a diffuser. We've got colour flip on this Supra, a bit like the RX Seven. We've got the Evo 6 looking beautiful. I hope that hasn't got an SR like the RX-7. It's the airbrushed bonnet section. Looks like this guy's door doors too much. He's had to strap it down for overexcitement door flapping. Righty-ho! Sticker showcase galore here. Don't feel lost in the matrix. Well, I don't. Is that? Is that? Is, is that a Golf R? We've got some pink details. Pink on the grill, on the wheels, on the hair. Ah, a coffin? It's a family car and they've got a child-sized coffin in the back. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, it was always going to happen. I'm too old for this. I've seen it enough. And even more pink details on the Nissan Primera. She is a bad girl. She's got love hearts and flowers and eyebrows and fluffy wheel, a pink learner badge. Please look at my back. Oh, cheeky girl. Well, it does say on the front, doesn't it? Um, well, that is a sticker showcase. If you're happy and you know it, clap your... Oh. Oh, wait, no, she's a good girl. She's just got some bad habits, like putting stickers on her car. Oh, look, a penguin! We found some Aussie muscle and a Salika with a lot of orange around. We're now checking out this Golf GTI. It's got some extensions behind the rear lights and some unusual exhaust. It's also got both GTI and R32 displayed. I presume it is a GTI. Next door we've got this Kia with quad pipes, a large shadow, and it seems the spoiler doesn't quite reach where it's meant to. Oh, a penny! Oh, that's five pounds and one P I've earned today. Oh, it's my balloon, AC. It's mine. She's taking my balloon away. Oh, what a day. Here is the RX-7 white body that we saw coming in with the 350Z that made us think it was a GTR because it's got a GTR front bumper and brave wheels, but it is a 350Z. We have seen it before. I should have known. High vis in the engine bay as well as the wheels, and you've got purple and turquoise, and the glittery RX-7 as well next to it. Oh, someone exploded. Oh, oh dear, the death is happening. Oh, they've rubbed it out again. Look. Oh. <laughs> well, I've written it in blue now, so... Oh, no. Somehow, we've missed a white chaser, the only one here, which everyone's loving, everyone's actually currently ignoring, but there it is. We've got a pair of white Air 15s, one of which is supercharged, presumably an LS. But I think it's time to walk to the exit. So I hope you enjoy that video from BHP Fuel Fest, the cars arriving, looking around the show. I can't believe the cans are actually sticking to my feet, it's fantastic. So go follow me on all my social feeds, of all the pictures I post and updates and highlights of where I'm going to be. So I hope you enjoyed that video. But for now, thanks for watching.